Good morning, uh, everyone, and I'm going to talk to you about my uh, favorite topic, the open source databases. And as you probably well know, that the open sources uh, databases have been uh, kicking ass, or pretty much leading in the growth for uh, uh, open source uh, databases by uh, DB Engine rankings, which we, I think many of us uh, know, as well as if you look at the long-term popularity trend that right, have been uh, gradually eating the market away from proprietary uh, databases. What makes me also the most excited about uh, open source database is if you look at the new uh, generation uh, of uh, uh, approaches, right, uh, whatever that's been your key value stores or document databases, time series databases, in those areas we can see uh, their open source databases are completely dominating. Now, if you look at the popularity of uh, databases among developers, and this is a survey by uh, Stack Overflow, and we survey more than 100,000 of developers, so that is a pretty uh, big survey, uh, we can see what the uh, open source uh, uh, databases are absolutely dominating the, the uh, list of the top five, and their uh, MySQL is uh, uh, actually not only uh, their Mm, uh, dominating this group, but always uh, continuing to grow in the uh, in the popularity. Now, uh, at Percona, our mission uh, is to champion unbiased open source database solution. Now, so what that really means uh, is what we are uh, really focused with providing uh, you best 100% uh, free open source software for uh, uh, for uh, databases, which is uh, uh, the, uh, uh, designed uh, for, uh, for both uh, enterprise and uh, uh, the other uh, use cases. We really believe what a lot of the open source power is a fact what uh, uh, it helps you to avoid uh, uh, vendor lock-in and that's what we uh, focus, uh, focus a lot. Now, not uh, uh, all open source uh, is the same. Now you can see in our business many open source companies. Now it's actually say majority of open source companies really would be open core or uh, similar business models. Uh, we uh, that is not what we do in Percona. While we believe those uh, uh, it is fantastic those business model exists, and frankly open source would not uh, get as much investment into that if uh, all the software would uh, be uh, only available as uh, open source. We believe it's. Uh, 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 great to have the completely free and open source database platforms available and that is what we are uh, committing providing in, at, uh, at Percona. Now uh, we spoke about a few uh, open source, uh, uh, no, show a few open source databases uh, out there. Let's look at what has been happening in the least, uh, recent years of the open source, uh, top open source databases. The MySQL is uh, as uh, strong as ever. That is uh, the most popular open source database uh, right now. That is the database of choice uh, in the cloud. If you look at all the cloud vendors, what is the first database as a service uh, technology they typically launch? That's uh, MySQL. MySQL 8 was just released uh, uh, last week and it uh, really looks fantastic. A lot of great engineering went uh, in uh, MySQL 8 and the uh, very uh, excited uh, about uh, it. And over internally at Percona, we really see explosive growth with MySQL continues in the enterprise space in particular. Where I would say in among the startups in the, here in Silicon Valley, MySQL can be the old news sometimes, but for uh, many uh, enterprise companies that is not the old news, but that is the up and coming uh, technology which is increasingly uh, uh, useful. Now at Percona, we provide uh, software uh, for MySQL, of course. Our Percona server and uh, uh, Percona XRDB uh, cluster are two uh, software packages, uh, database software packages we provide for uh, MySQL uh, ecosystem. These are both free and open source and getting uh, a lot of uh, a lot of traction, uh, especially among the enterprise customers. Also. Percona server for MySQL is the first MySQL variant uh, to support MyRocks. 
right? And I hope you guys heard about Myrox. This is a storage engine which uh, was born uh, inside Facebook. It's really optimized for modern hardware. It allows you to uh, save costs. It's uh, great for uh, the uh, cloud usage. And uh, also yesterday, uh, they uh, won the Community Choice Award. So that is a really uh, cool storage engine for uh, you to check out. Now, MariaDB is also have been uh, doing quite great. Now, one thing I uh, uh, want to emphasize about uh, MariaDB, it is uh, not just a MySQL variant anymore. Especially, especially with MySQL 8, MariaDB is a very different database, uh, database right now. And I think we can see very clearly over the next year or so MariaDB having a very distinct focus on uh, uh, features to enhance Oracle compatibility. The area where I think they rightfully believe the MySQL team would not be uh, uh, willing to, to follow them. Now, another thing which is interesting with MariaDB, uh, well, it's having quite successful uh, demonizing Oracle, <coughs> right? And uh, it's, uh, uh, I would say, uh, won the uh, distribution war uh, politics and really has uh, uh, replaced MySQL in many Linux distributions. As MariaDB is a different database than MySQL, I believe that is a misguided choice, but that's uh, uh, my opinion, uh, right, which doesn't seem to be in majority, unfortunately. MariaDB at Percona uh, uh, has also been growing rapidly. You know, uh, 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 not everybody knows, but we do provide MariaDB support at Percona, and that is one of the uh, fastest growing areas uh, in, uh, in Percona. We had about 40% growth here over here at uh, uh, among the customers uh, who use uh, MariaDB, often among other databases. And right now, about 15 of our customers use uh, MariaDB among other technologies. MongoDB is another top open source database technology, and it's uh, really showing the great uh, traction as well. In the recent versions, we have a huge improvement in uh, ease of use uh, uh, and uh, scalability and performance. MongoDB uh, Inc., uh, the company had a very successful IPO and we can now uh, see from a stock action report what it really has a continued, it's very uh, fast uh, pace. And more, uh, MongoDB, as we know, is by far the most popular uh, data store. Exciting news in the future are coming as well, with MongoDB 4 announced it will finally support uh, transactions, which will be uh, quite a big deal, which will make MongoDB much more uh, uh, the, uh, uh, feasible choice for many enterprise workloads. In MongoDB at Percona, uh, we provide Percona server for MongoDB, which is our enterprise grade drop in replacement for MongoDB, which we really invested a lot in creating the open source alternatives for many MongoDB enterprise features. And uh, this software has also been getting a great traction. We can see about 2x uh, growth in the downloads from 2016 to 2017, and uh, we also have a, a 3x growth in uh, Percona enterprise uh, customer base uh, uh, using this uh, software. We also announced uh, as of today, as of this week, your corner zero for MongoDB 3.6 is now available, so we are uh, on par supporting the latest version on MongoDB technology. Now, uh, when it looks like, uh, 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 let's talk about uh, a little bit general trends we see the open source database business. One thing that keeps me excited about the open source business is how much innovation there is going on, and there are indeed uh, many good open source uh, uh, technologies, many databases which we make particularly compelling for the different uh, database workloads. And what is biggest mistake I see and one of my kind of biggest sores is what very many development teams really try to uh, fit a kind of workloads which don't fit to the database they already have. You know, uh, trying to exactly use that as a uh, hammer to work with, uh, uh, with, uh, with uh, uh, a screw. Now, at Vircona, we do believe in a uh, polyglot persistence. And uh, that really matches a lot what we see among the customers as well. A lot of large uh, scale uh, organizations, both enterprise as well as uh, startups, 
if you are building the large scale technology, you tend to use more than one database technology to, uh, to do that, right? Because there are just so uh, many different uh, workload, different uh, 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 use cases we have. At Percona, we did a survey recently, and we see what more than 50% of our customers use more than one uh, database technology, right? More than 20%, that's this combination of uh, 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 two or more of MySQL, MariaDB, and, uh, and MongoDB. To target that, we provide uh, their universal support contract, which really allows you to cover multiple database technology with a single contract from uh, one vendor, and we uh, see a number of uh, folks finding that very valuable. But you guys may notice what something was missing from open source database portfolio at Percona. And if you look at those graphs, maybe you can guess what it is. Right? Well, I can give you another hint. Uh, that is their database of a year by uh, DB Engine's uh, methodology, also known as uh, Postgres. And the fact uh, at Percona, we are uh, going to be launching the PostgreSQL support to, uh, uh, in addition to support for MySQL, MariaDB, and, uh, and on MongoDB. With our Postgres support, we are going to support both. Uh, 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 on-premises deployment of open source Postgres uh, version as well as database as a service among the major uh, US cloud uh, providers. Now, okay, okay, finally. <laughs> okay, thank you to whoever started that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's look at the uh, modern database development and uh, what we are mm, uh, seeing here. There have been a lot of uh, mm, evolution uh, happening recently uh, in the database deployments among uh, multiple ven vectors. One is a cloud. Well, that is an old news, right? The cloud has been growing over very rapidly over the last probably 10 years now. And uh, uh, it's uh, expected to, uh, to continue to Uh, public cloud uh, uh, presence. We see uh, 25 of those uh, uh, customers are using database uh, as a service, so that has been uh, growing a lot. And 33% uh, of our customers are looking for uh, running the database uh, in containers. Containers on the same adoption is actually quite hard. So what we are really uh, doing here to help, right, with those, uh, with those uh, all the trends. The first one, is what we are uh, have a partnership with uh, uh, Mesosphere to, uh, uh, to run the database uh, in uh, make a da running database in containers easier. We started with uh, a Percona server for MongoDB for uh, for various reasons, and now we announced that Percona uh, server for MongoDB beta version is available on uh, Mesosphere, and that will be certified solution and supported through our partnership with Mesosphere. I would uh, encourage you to try it out today and uh, let us know feedback. Uh, that. Now at your corner, we also believe a lot in the, uh, in the partnerships and uh, 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 we announced a partnership with Amazon last uh, no November on uh, the reInvent. Today we also announced partnership with Microsoft and with that uh, we are uh, have a partnership in place with top three uh, uh, U.S. cloud uh, uh, vendors to uh, to help you uh, uh, with your uh, using open source databases among those uh, uh, with them. With that, we also announced the Percona database mm, support uh, uh, for database as a service, and this is a specially tailored support package for uh, database as a service environments. 
which have a different support needs compared to you rolling a uh, database on the server on, uh, on your own. We are also announcing the uh, Percona DBA for database as a service. Again, for a database uh, needs and, uh, and, uh, and tasks are substantially different for a uh, database as a service environment. Uh, and uh, uh, we are uh, there to meet you. With new DBA service, we have all three uh, major database as a server uh, platforms are uh, being covered. Finally, let me cover some of the modern worries which you hear from uh, our customers and uh, uh, how we uh, are working to help them. Uh, number one concern among the Percona customers and in, in general among the CTOs and CIO recently has been security and compliance. Right? Especially with uh, GDPR coming in Europe, that is no more something only enterprises have to, uh, to worry. Right? Even the smaller companies dealing with personal data have to, uh, uh, have to deal with that. Yeah. And uh, security and compliance is a very multidimensional topic, but one of them is uh, data encryption. Uh, we now announce what in Percona server for MySQL, uh, we uh, have released the advanced uh, encryption features. And what is the most important, we provide uh, their uh, open source centralized key management solution with uh, uh, HashiCorp uh, uh, Vault, uh, which uh, really makes that complete uh, open source uh, encryption solution right, with no tie in to some other uh, closed source components required. We also have substantially improved the security of our uh, support tools uh, at Percona, which is uh, important for uh, our customers. Uh, if you are sending us the data, we have a tools to, uh, to anonymize the data such as query log and so on and so forth, so you can uh, feel confident you're not sell sending uh, to our support ser uh, service with some personal identifiable data, as well as integration with our Percona monitoring management to share data with support team uh, uh, securely. What is the second biggest concern we see on, among our customer minds? Well, uh, a lot of our folks saying that the big concern for them is what with a new, very agile development method, there is a lot of risks of uh, uh, management uh, solution for uh, now uh, the, uh, quite some time and this is uh, software which is on a pretty quick release uh, timeline there are new features coming up pretty much every uh, every month or two so I don't have a time to go through uh, all of them uh, here uh, but I will mention just one feature which we uh, released uh, for this conference today and this is the to track application deployments with annotation we now provide a very easy way to, to trigger information about the application uh, deployment where you can say, hey, you just deployed XYZ of this version. And if something starts funny to show up on the graph which correlates with that deployment, you can uh, very mm, clearly see that. Okay, so with that, where does all it leave us today? Uh, as I mentioned, the open source databases are growing uh, uh, and uh, as strong as ever uh, continues to grow, uh, especially, especially in the uh, inter enterprises which have been increasingly comfortable from using open source databases. And I think they're also at the same time being made increasingly uncomfortable with some uh, proprietary database, uh, database vendors. Uh, we also see what running multiple open source databases in the same, uh, in the same uh, uh, enterprise becomes increasingly common. I think there is increasing understanding growing what while uh, companies like Oracle may be able to provide you kind of complete stack, uh, if you want to get 
uh, uh, comparable uh, solutions in open source, you're probably are going to uh, use uh, uh, different, uh, uh, multiple different technologies to achieve same or actually even better, uh, better result. At Percona, we are really focused on uh, uh, helping you with, uh, oops, yeah. uh, with uh, helping you to uh, to meet you with your key challenges. We meet you where you are, whether that's on premises, in the cloud, database, or running data, uh, uh, database as a service, or running your database in containers. We are also really uh, focused on supporting you wh wherever your open source database of choice is. And we are really following uh, uh, or and working with you uh, with evolving as the industry, mm, industry evolves. 